Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Snake Farm, shall we? This game appears to be a spin on the kind of Halls of Torment, Vampire Survivors, you know, bullet hell type of game, and yet you're killing with garden implements, and I'm excited to see how this shakes out. Never played before, so I'm going to do the how to play. So it says we buy snakes with coins and weapons with teeth. And we want snakes, I guess, and we want weapons. Fight snakes every day. Interesting. Uh, and we use WASD or the arrows to move, click or space to attack, and we... Um, the attacks aim at the mouse by default, but I bet we can, I, I believe it says you can turn on auto-aim uh, like you can in Halls of Torment. Snakes drop oil and teeth pick them up. If you get hit, you lose oil. If you run out, you die. Okay, interesting. At the end of the each day, oil is turned into coins, and then our final score is teeth plus coins plus oil. Okay, so let me then... Um go out and start the game. Low damage, high fire rate pushes snakes. Okay, so we're fighting snakes in the garden. And yet, cloud snake gives off clouds of poison gas, gives two oil. Well, I have three coins, and I have one tooth. So what do I want? Do I want a hose? Do I want a pitchfork? Do I want, um, trowels? Right? So what do I... What feels good? High range, low fire rate. Low damage, high fire rate. Um... I'm gonna go with the pitchfork. And then I can buy an electric looper... I can buy, hmm, poison gas. I'm going to go with these slug snakes. Now, what I can't tell is if I'm purchasing snakes that I'm going to fight intentionally or if these are my buddies. So I will buy this one and this one and start the game. All right, so here we go. Okay, so it does say here, and I push escape for the pause menu. Um, I can go to auto target mode if I want. Um, and I'm actually going to enable this because for me personally, when I play games like this, uh, I concentrate on my movement and it's easier for me to move and then just aim automatically. But if I don't like it, I'll turn this off. Okay, um, and we're going to resume the game. All right. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay, it's shooting. You can see this is the slow snake that's shooting. Oh, it's interesting. Look, the amount of damage that we've done to the snake, you can see, like, how much health it has by how injured, or I'm sorry, by how much color is taken away from its tail. So as it fills up, that's the damage. The oil is on the right. You can see in the upper left, um, we've got coins and teeth. Um, okay, that was pretty easy. Nine days left. Uh-oh, until a boss or something? Interesting. All right, so um, I can bribe him to restock. Okay, I could get an eye patch. All fire rates faster, and I can level up. Ooh, cool. Okay, so... We started with the pitchfork, and I was wondering, do I get to keep my pitchfork? Yes, I do get to keep the pitchfork, but now I could level it up, or I could just have 20% faster fire rate, or I could have a headshot does more damage. Um, I'm going to actually buy this eye patch, and then these overalls. And then up here, uh... I probably want as much oil as possible... But which one do I want to fight? Um, I'll try... I'll try this guy, that's fine. Alright, here we go. 
Ah. So it looks like the snakes from before that I hired yesterday, or not hired, that just are here, are still also here. And then I've added the other snakes that make the cloud of gas. You can see I'm doing way more damage. All snakes defeated. Sweet. With my headshots. So uh, that was awesome. And we just kind of like wait until the end of day. You can just push escape, I guess. So seven oil gets turned into eight coins. Wow, cool. So it's like we get rewarded like it's a risk reward. Uh, rubber gloves. Fire rate. I'm going to go with the pitchfork level two. And I will try um, cloud snake and um, slug snake. And let's go. Oh, boy. Now it's getting crazy. There's a lot of snakes here. Okay. So at first, it's like, oh, no problem. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. Okay, here's the oil. Hopefully, the oil doesn't disappear. Okay. Got it. No problem. Snakes, teeth, nine oil again. All right, fantastic. Whoa. Don't go that way. All right, 6 p.m. it ends. And now we're up to 11 coins. We have seven days. We can't even afford the better pitchfork, but that's awesome. Sprays damaging water and an eye patch for double damage on... Um, Hmm, I'll buy the eye patch and then loot snake. Woo! Has 10,000 health but gives 30 oil. Oh boy. Alright, I'll try the tiger snake and regret it. Let's go. You can see these headshots doing, um, you know. This thing is running at me. Oh boy, I'm getting hit. Okay. That was the tougher snake, and it was way more difficult. Oh, I'm taking... I got to pick up the oil so I don't die. That's right. So your health and your oil are the same bar. That's such an interesting mechanic because, you know, I'm looking... Oh, you only have a certain amount of time to pick up the, the drops that you missed, it looks like, as well. So it's like I'm looking to get oil so I can make more money, but if I get hit, then I lose... Uh, oil, which is also my money after the end of the level, so I am not as strong. Okay, now I can buy the Pitchfork level 3, which I want. More damage. Uh, pushes Snake. Snake be gone. I actually want to try that. Pushing them back would be useful. Um, <laughs> The Clown Snake. Oh, boy. Uh... I'm going to go with hmm, this one and that one. Okay. Some of the snakes, like, okay, there's the new snake. You can see that if, with our plus 30 damage, like, if we hit them in the head, it is so bad for them. Oh, oh god, I'm getting hit. That was dumb. Okay, I, ne I need to pick up some oil. I'm not playing in an intelligent manner. There we go, we got the oil. Alright. All snakes defeated, but I know I left... Oh my god, look at all these teeth. Oh boy, the big expensive snakes are so good for leveling you up, but they're so challenging. Okay, um, I still can't, oof, oof, look at that better pitchfork. Triple damage? Alright, uh, we'll buy the eye patch, and then I'll try a tiger snake, a looper, and the fire snake. Let's go. Yeah, if we hit them in the head, it is a one-shot fiasco. Oh, I lost my oil. 
Ouch. Oil harvester drone decommissioned. So that's what we are. We're an oil harvester drone. All right. So our final score um, was 220 points. Woof. Not bad, but I know I can do better. I should have been more mindful of my oil. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and start again. Okay. So instead of the pitchfork, let's try something else. Let's try the hose. And... Uh, Let's go. I'll buy these two. All right. Yeah, okay, this is interesting. So the hose does like very, very little damage, but it pushes them back and it's just like a machine gun. There we go. We got a tooth, we got some oil. Fantastic. All right. So, we definitely want to level up the uh, the hose to do more damage. And then we'll go with... Um, rat snake, cloud snake, go. I want as many snakes as I can to try to, you know, increase my ability to get teeth, oil. I think I should start prioritizing picking up oil early on so I have a little bit of a cushion of health. You could see this rapid fire hose, like it doesn't do it, like as you can see, there's not very much damage, but first of all, you don't have to hit him in the head, like that's the ideal, but you can just hit him in the body. All snakes defeated. Get that tooth. Mm. Did I only find one tooth? Alright. Okay. So in this case, what do we do? Um... I don't understand, like, this tractor, for example. Ooh, Harvesters is great. So it boosts oil collection range. Uh, yeah, I don't want something that can accidentally kill me, so I will buy... No, I'm not going to buy it. I want to level up my weapon. Um, I'm buying everything I can, though. I guess I could have paid the one oil to reset the the options but i only have one tooth oh god i need some oil oh no should have gone to pick up the oil how many times have we done this um no the, the last time was better okay so let me try this again so let's try the trowels and see how they go the pitchfork um, is my favorite so far, just because the damage is so strong. Maybe I... Let's just try if I go for the looper with the first one. Oh, interesting. The trowel, like, pierces. It's a slow... As it ex explains, it's a slow fire rate, but wow, it fires for a long range. It's just slow to target. Or, you know, it takes a long time to recharge, but it pierces through all sections of the snake that it hits. I like that a good bit. All right, let's see what we got here. So I'm at three teeth, um, plus one damage, and then day lasts longer and makes an explosion when hurt, pushing snakes. Now, I'll buy the upgrade trials, but I'll save my teeth for other stuff. And then I'm going to go with, like, expensive snakes that are... Um... So I have less snakes overall on the screen. Where are they? Yeah, so you can see we're doing plus one damage. And then you just have to keep your distance from these dudes. So with this weapon, if you get snakes that don't have projectile, 
you're in the catbird seat because you can just stand back at range as long as they don't come at you. All right, all snakes defeated. Now we didn't get any teeth, which is a shame. So maybe that's like why you would want um, multiple snakes is because you have a higher chance of getting teeth? Not sure. All right, um, I like this electric looper. I'm just gonna get a bunch of these. Now this particular snake, this pink guy, does come at you. But the looper doesn't seem to want to follow you. So like the looper just kind of does its own thing. So if we could stand far away from them and just shoot our trowels like right through them, I'm going to try manual target mode with this weapon. Sweet. All right, we got some teeth here. Let's go up here and see if we get... Oh, yeah, look at this. Now we're getting the teeth. I almost missed all that. All right, fantastic. So now we have a good amount of teeth and we can level this up faster cooldown. That's what I'm talking about. Um, all attack projectiles last longer. Yeah, that sounds great. And uh, I don't know if I want this guy. If, he, if he's a natural born hunter, he's going to come at me. I'd rather just have a couple of like, you know, just some weak snakes like this. Yeah. Let's go. I don't want anything that, like, I want minimal projectiles. All right, let's go over here. I'm going to try to gather the snakes as much as possible so that I can, like, hit the pack because this thing pierces. Look at all the damage. Now, I'm going to run out of time, though, if I do it like this. So time is definitely a factor in terms of, like, thinking... I can't just dance around them all day long. Got it. Sweet. Man, we got a bunch of teeth. Anything else that we missed over here? No? Okay, good. Alright, so, um, headshots do more damage. This is very good. Although, to be honest, multiplying our damage with the trowel isn't as important as, like, yeah, leveling it up is insane. Um, fire rate faster is fine. And then let's go ahead and, uh, boost up the cloud snakes. Now, the cloud snakes do come at you, so they're not my... That wasn't ideal, maybe, to uh, duplicate them. But look at the damage you can do. If you can corral these babies... So a lot of this game is like knowing what type of snake you want to fight. So I think it's really interesting that you get to choose your opponent. There's a lot of... Uh, very clever choices that you get to make in this game. Risk reward, understanding the enemy types, how they integrate with your weapons, timing. There we go. All snakes defeated. We got to get everything. Oh my gosh, I left so many power-ups on the field. Oh no. Oh, phew. I almost... I, I think I left one behind. Alright, we're definitely leveling up the trowel. 
Oh my gosh, move faster? Yes. Pushes snakes? Sure, whenever. Okay, and then these are the best ones, these electric loopers. I'm going to spend all my money on that um, because they don't chase you. All right. Moving 20% faster is so good. I was wondering if that was going to be in the game. Movement speed, it's so important. Okay, that pink beam that auto-fires, that is my... Uh, the thing that pushes snakes that I purchased. Alright. Get them. Alright, go. Here we go. Sweet. Alright. That one snake was... Ooh, two teeth, though. Alright, we got them all. It's like I almost don't want to defeat them all until I pick up everything. Because the time jumps. Alright, um... Become ethereal when hurt. That's nice. The better trowels are also good. Smog, snake. Try it. Go. So the first thing I want to do in a spot like this is kill as many of the uh, snakes as I can that are like the electrified ones because they're so easy so I could pick up oil so that I, I don't die in one shot. The smog snakes have a lot of health. But they're pretty slow. So let's go pick up these items. The drops. Get away from the smog. And then I'll fight these guys. I don't want to lose anything. There we go. Yeah, Smog Snake is like, I have so many hit points. I'm not hard, but oh my god, do I have a lot of health. They laugh at my weapon. They give a lot of oil, though, if we can kill one. This is not... These are not the right choice for... Uh, this particular weapon. Oh, I got hit. All right. I hope I don't lose if I can't clear the snakes. Go, go, go. All right. Okay. You don't lose, so you can just kind of play survival mode against those things. Sweet. Um, I'll buy these just because they're cheap. Um, I'll go ahead and buy some of these, that's fine. Oh boy, there's snakes everywhere. Alright, let's go. Alright, first priority is, yeah, I need to, I want to kill these snakes that actively pursue me. Just get them in a line, there we go. The smog snakes will you know, think about dealing with, but we might just be running around them. I 
I should be re-rolling more, choosing the stuff that I want. Oh, there's my sprinkler. All right. Okay, let's see here. Alright. Okay, it's just us and us and the smog snakes. I wonder if I can just like, yeah, I can just finish the day early. And just give up. Like, I can't beat the smog snakes. Why Why try? All right, here we go. Um, trials level five. Amazing. And uh, I will buy harvesters. These are nice. No more smog snakes, for, for God's sake. Um, whoa, 90% is underground. I don't know about that. Okay, hmm. It's like, do I want to spend more money? I'll try one tunnel snake just to see what it looks like, and another one of these. Let's go. Uh, the tunnel snake was a mistake, because I should have thought about that. My gun, my weapon is, thrives on piercing. All right, I need to kill some other stuff immediately. And he's under the ground, so how am I going to get any piercing damage? I'm not. All right, I got to get away from that guy immediately. I need oil. Ah. Someone. Oh, God. Oil? Here it is. All right, we got some. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I chose badly on the snakes. Tunnel snake was a huge mistake. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what I gotta do is just ignore the tunnel snake and the smog snake, snake and just be like, I made a serious error and pick up what I've got and get out of here. So I'm just gonna finish the day early. Oh boy, one day left. Okay, uh, yeah, faster move is amazing. I'm gonna re-roll. One oil is good. Sure, I'll take that. I'm gonna re-roll. Um, eye patch, sure. Yep, re-roll. Uh, okay, okay, re-roll. Two sprinklers. Let's go. I'm going to turn on auto target and let's go. Give me some oil. Okay. You know, at this point, my trials fire so fast. 
getting hit by the smog is terrible. I do push this guy back pretty easily. But he's just probably got so much more health than I'm ready for. Alright, let's go get the rest of this oil. Alright. So, I don't think I can beat either of these guys. Like, I could try to stand here all day and shoot this guy. But I think it's going to be a, a losing investment. Because, like, unless I get all of his oil, if he hits me, it negates the value of, of trying to go for him. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to finish the day early. All right, we did it. My obsolescence has been planned. Aw, because I'm, I'm an electric drone. That's a shame. They're going to replace me. All right. So we ended up with 1,200 points as our final score. Now, what we learned is that you want to pick snakes that you can actually kill with your weaponry and that are advantageous to your weapons. You also want to definitely re-roll more than I was doing to try to get better upgrades. And the more you spend you know, early, you can definitely make more money as a risk reward but there's just so many snakes on the screen by the end it's it's pretty wild so it's a really interesting play loop that you know you make choices they feel impactful you risk reward the game gets harder and harder and i think uh it, it's a fun spin on the genre that kind of uh evokes like atari games to me you know you have that classic feel of like centipede or something like that going on uh which is great so everyone, let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. And also for any channel members, patrons, or Twitch subs or super chatters, uh, the developer was kind enough, thank you very much, to donate some keys for the game for the month of September. So for the September giveaway, if you uh, become a channel member, a patron, a Twitch sub, or a super chatter, in that month, you will be into a, a raffle, and this is one of the games that you can win a key for. Let me know what you think about this game. Have you played this game? Uh, it's currently on Steam right now, and it's very affordable if you're interested. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.